Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I am gonna do something that's needed to be done for a long time. Actually, right now I've got some rock coming. I've got a load of three inch rock that is gonna be used to fill in our corral. If you watch our spring vaccinations, when we brought the bison up, this is a main area where we like to bring them. We, this is where we do a lot of sorting and we run them through our alley system and then they come through a squeeze chute and then they come back out here and that's where they exit and go to the certain pasture that they're supposed to go to. But this is super muddy. We've had so much rain here in the past couple of months. We had a very wet spring and now it's a hot summer that's been smacked with us. But if you can go back and watch that spring uh, video, I was trampling through this mud so much and, and it's hard to run through here, especially when you're working bison. You gotta be careful and you can't get stuck. And it was a mess, but I'm gonna get some three inch rock uh, brought in here, spread it out in here. And so now we have a good base, uh, but I've got these bulls. They have access to come in here cause we've got water here so they can come in and out of this area. It's been trampled and stomped on so much. What are you doing, big fella? That's good, Eric. That's good. Well, that's all I'm gonna do today. Can't really get in there as much as I wanted to because it is still pretty soggy down here. And you can see these ruts, especially when that tractor gets uh, that rock in it, weighs it down pretty heavy. That three inch rock did a great job, but I was making ruts as I was driving in there. 
and I don't want to create even more damage to the corral and make deeper ruts. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and I still need to scrape it out and even it out some. The idea is to get water kind of drains right here. I want it to go out there. So we kind of build this up and it'll keep water out of the corral. Still gonna get some naturally, but I'm gonna try to get it to go out this way out in that pasture and it can go down the hill. It's gonna pack down well, I think. Should do a good job for us. I'm gonna give it some time to dry up. I'm gonna come back and really spread it out even. Uh, these bulls are gonna come in here cause they have to come in and water and I feed them just like you saw. I feed them right here. Um, so they have access to this. Uh, they'll spread it out just by trampling in here and running in and out to get water and whatnot. So they'll kind of even it out some, but I'm gonna go let the yearlings out for their pasture rotation. We're gonna rotate them in a, another paddock. I call it my Bermuda paddock. It's, uh, it's got a lot of Bermuda grass in it, which is not the bison's favorite, but they'll eat it. And if you leave them there long enough, they will graze it. And Bermuda does have a lot of protein in it and it makes really good hay. So I'm gonna go let them in there. Here we go. Oh, there he is right there. Mr. Lumpy himself. Hey, buddy. Water tank's doing great. Looking good. I'm gonna rotate him out here. Thistles. Guys, the gate is open. Hey, gate's open. See who the first is going to be to see it. All it takes is one. Who is it going to be? It's right over there. Come on, guys. Thank you for that. Come on, pokies. Oh, they got it now. Come on, just uh, I jinxed myself. Why is everybody pooping right now? How come when I come out in the pasture, everybody stops to poop and pee? Literally, all at once. I guess that's how you feel. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> I used to it. They don't see this big opening here. <laughs> no? Okay, you're gonna do it when I'm not here. Gotcha. Yearlings win today. Try to get it to move them, 
but they're just not used to uh, rotating over there to that paddock, I guess, because it's been a while. But um, I'll let them be. They probably want feed. That's probably what they want, but they're gonna go get grass because we got plenty of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just, uh, as you can tell, catching up on a lot of farm work during this season. It's kind of quiet right now. We're just checking on babies, making sure that they're all good and uh, catching up all the, all the farm projects that I need to do. Spraying, taking care of the corral, getting it in good condition because we'll work our animals here in the fall and uh, we don't want to go through that muddy mess again and uh, just doing all kinds of projects and stuff getting stuff done on the farm but anyways thank you guys for watching still waiting on two more babies kit is very close i'm seeing some signs now from her she's part of the big joe herd uh we may have something in the next week maybe we'll see uh her her udder is not dropping a whole lot but their udders don't drop very much compared to cattle guys got some new stuff coming around for you stay tuned for some fourth of july gear maybe i may have my very first fourth of july t-shirt coming around the corner kind of two things one the fourth of july we're celebrating our independence day for america two the other thing is i'm approaching a hundred thousand subscribers and uh, i want to kind of celebrate for that thank you guys for watching